his portrait all weekend long. I just wanted to give you an update on Professor House uh, via video. So I hope this helps you. But um, after reviewing the pictures and the portrait all weekend long, I just have not been happy with his skin color. Um, of course, what I'm using is this black and white photo of Professor House, and it's just been very difficult for me to obtain the skin colors that I have wanted to obtain on him. So what I've done is I've carefully studied these two pictures, and it appears that this picture was taken at hit him of him at an age where he was in between these two pictures based on the grain of his hair and the facial structure so I wanted him since you like that photo the best I wanted to get a combination of probably what his skin tone would look like with between these two photos so here's what I've done I hope this gives you a little idea on on what he looks like um, I've just now started basing in the actual suit and we'll finish the baton um, probably tomorrow and I will do some touch-ups on the suit area. But as far as the facial structure, he's just about done so if there's anything you don't like about it, just let me know and I can work on that uh, while the paint is still wet. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, first off, I pinked up his skin tone. I wasn't happy with the darkness of the skin, so I pinked it up a bit, and I lightened the dark um, shadows in his face. I didn't like the value range I had used. I felt the transitions between the light and the darks was too sharp, so I went in and softened the values between the colors as much as I could to make it look as real and more like skin as possible. Also, let me see if I can get a close-up of his eyes for you so you can take a look. From the two pictures that I have, I used a magnifying glass to try to get an idea on what colors his eyes were. They appear to me to be a hazel. They, they look like they were a touch blue with a little bit of red in them, which makes them a hazel color. So let me get you a close-up of the eyes and, and see what you think of that, if we can get a good good um, shot of them there. What I did is he still kept like he was, um, looked like he was squinting uh, in the photographs. To me it appeared like he was squinting. So what I did was I opened this eye up. Okay pointer here. Oh, precious. I opened this eye up just a little bit because it looked like he was squinting and what I did was I brought the color up just a touch and he has very beautiful kind eyes but I know that you had mentioned <laughs> that he could certainly give you a look but from my opinion when I was looking at the photo it looked like he was giving the look. I wanted a more gentle and kind look in his eyes. So it has just a touch of red in there and his eyes are basically gray to create the hazel look. Let me know if I got the eye color right. I think the eye color is very important in a photo. Let me see if I can, let me zone in on one eye in particular. That way it'll give you an idea of the, the color. Hopefully it's so difficult to um, get the exact colors on tape or on a photograph. It really, really distorts the images for some reason when I photograph and, and tape a subject. So, there's his eyes. Hope that gives you a good idea. And hopefully you can tell that I have changed the skin tone somewhat to hopefully look a little more lifelike. He has beautiful hair. Let me get a close-up of his beautiful gray hair and see what you think there. And let's see, I think that's about it with him as far as changes. Like I said, I've been working a little bit today. I, I changed the skin color today uh, because it was just bothering me. Didn't feel like the transitions were good enough. And I'm now working on his suit and I should have it done tomorrow. So if there's anything you see, like I said, that um, you'd like me to change, just let me know. Um, and I want to take this opportunity to thank you again 
for this opportunity. I really appreciate it and I want it to be perfect and I want you all to be very, very happy with this. So let me know if there's anything that I need to change to accomplish that. So once again, thank you and um, I'll give you an update as soon as it happens. Thank you. Have a good evening.